I want to welcome you back to I Grow Plays, Dishonored, The Knife of Dunwall, in Stereoscopic 3D, as always. This is a special edition of I Grow Plays, Dishonored, in Stereoscopic 3D. This is the 2 a.m. edition, so we're going to do this nice and chill and relaxed, and ain't nobody going to be getting too excited. We're just going to have a nice old time killing people, slicing people, turning people into piles of ash if we actually manage to get that particular perk unlocked. Who knows what the night may hold for us, but let's enter the slaughterhouse. Now I must admit that uh, me, uh, I grow your humble host this evening, is half a fucking sleep right now. But you know what? I'm gonna make the best of an unfortunate situation. Reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Yeah, and this lady, she just isn't too helpful, I must admit. She seems more interested in just talking and talking and talking than actually doing anything that would be of use to me. And what am I doing? Oh yes, I remember what I was trying to do. I was trying to modify the brightness because this area is just way too dark. See how that looks? I want to make sure that everything is... Look, ooh, that's actually too much. So let's go back and fix it. I want to make sure that the video is not too dark. You don't want it to be too bright either, but you don't want it to be too dark because video compression doesn't do too well with darks. It can't display as many shades of dark gray are, as are necessary to give you a clear image with details in the shadows intact. So let's just brighten it up a bit to help out that compression. We've got a dead shark in here. That doesn't bode well, but let's continue nevertheless. Let, n let nobody make any mistake. This is a slaughterhouse. There are many, many, many drops of blood to be discovered within this slaughterhouse. Oh. Shit. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. Ooh. He's shooting a nail gun at me. This man is not chilled. He's not relaxed. He's not... He's not... He's not gonna let me live. That sucks. This is a very new enemy type to my um, knowledge of Dishonored. I never met, never met an enemy quite like this, so... To die to him on my first encounter it it's not too unexpected you see so let me let me pay more attention to what's happening here ooh Oh, did this fellow see me? Looks like he did see me, but I'm just going to continue on as if he hadn't. Where are the runes and bone charms in this area? That's a high priority for me. There we go. One rune nearby. 
can't see through walls just yet, so I need to be very careful with every corner and every maneuver. Here's some money. Copper wire. Sells nicely on the black market. So let's see what we can do. Are they actively looking for me? I certainly hope not. Okay, I've been discovered. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with the guy shooting nails at me. But, I'll figure it out eventually. But for now, I must reload the save. Alright, let's get right back in. I don't understand why this game takes so long to load. It's not as if I don't have this game running on an SSD. Solid state drive. This is actually probably a bad idea because I know there's a gentleman right up there ready to spot me. If I can see him, I can shoot him. Oh crap. Well, he saw me, so I am now completely fucking boned. Maybe a grenade can deal some lethal damage. Personally, I wouldn't stand on top of a live grenade waiting for it to explode. But he helped me out by doing that. So let's see if there's anyone I can shoot in the head with my arm crossbow thingy. They very, 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 very well understand that I am here. Great. It's very difficult to find an open spot to come f come at these guys from. I try and blink straight into this drain pipe. There's a guy right behind, ready to see me. Now everyone is on high alert, and it will be difficult to kill them. But I will kill them. Someone's coming. He may not be as of yet apprised as to my presence. So let's try and sneak in here and maybe get a melee kill, an instant kill. He does have explosive on his back. That is what the uh, whale oil canisters on his back would suggest. So let's just put him somewhere where he will hopefully not draw any attention I can get up here and hopefully deal with this guy right here I do have a bone charm that will allow me to get some health from doing this aerialist strike very nice prove that greatly just a nice relaxed aerial strike we're not getting too intense too uh excited too energetic we're just relaxedly doing these aerial air assassinations yeah aerial air assassinations are the best kind of aerial assassinations if you ask me so this guy i need to find a way to get behind him that way i can do a stealth assassination and there you go. Dealt with quite nicely. I do hope that that particular animation for the stealth assassination doesn't actually cost me a crossbow bolt. I have a limited supply of crossbow bolts and I w may wish to use them for actual ranged attacks. 
rather than killing them in a stylish way, even though I'm in melee range and have a knife available. So this slaughterhouse is quite a nasty environment, but well, I cannot actually break this. But I will um, seek to make my way through it, nevertheless. Ha. Huh. May be able to do this quickly enough. All right. Excellent. I did I do admit that I did get a little bit of a increased heart rate there making that uh, skillful move happen, but but I'm, I'm chilled out now. I'm I'm back to my normal relaxed self as is appropriate for this special 2 a.m. episode of Let's Play Dishonored. Late night episodes of Let's Play Dishonored by myself, Ian Crow, are, are a nice mix-up from the usual Let's Play routine. I do enjoy taking things a bit easy, taking things a bit relaxed, a bit slower, and... Let's, let's see what I can do in this original room where I started. This guy right there. And great. He turned around. Wow. How do I deal with this guy? Not like that. Fortunately, that works. So let's do it again. Don't really have much of a choice. These guys are difficult to deal with when they are sitting there with their drill spinning. Spinning, spinning around and around. Spinning around and around. Speaking of spinning around, my frame rate is spinning up and down, up and down. 20 to 30, 20 to 30. Very, very strange. May have something to do with the fact that I'm playing this in dual GPU mode rather than single GPU mode. Can't be certain, can't be certain, but I'm back to a solid 30. I do find it unfortunate that uh, since I am recording at the incredibly high resolution of 3840 by 1080, which is full side by side 1080p stereoscopic 3D format. Oh, I hear a rune. There we go. It does mean that I can't record smoothly at 60 frames per second in all circumstances. It uh, is a bit too much for the hard drive. However, I can uh, record at 30, though I have to make the concession of playing the game at 30 frames per second rather than the smooth smooth frame rate of 60 FPS. That is one of the flaws of Fraps in that unless you can get a perfect multiple of the frame rate you're attempting to record at, you will be locked to the recording frame rate. DX Tori is superior in this area because you can record at any frame rate and not be locked to that frame rate. Be organizing, huh? Hey, that's not funny. You say that again, even as a joke, and you're way elite. Yeah, sure. I'm just saying. Stop listening in on that Abigail Lane's tricky talk. She'll corrupt you. No, no. My head's clear. I know which side my friend's buttered on. I'll be glad when we get the order to get rid of her. It's only a matter of time. 
Alright. Oh god. Not what I was counting on happening. Let's run. Fortunately, I uh, didn't use my brain and didn't blink behind them when I had the chance. But this is, once again, the 2 a.m. edition of Let's Play Dishonored, Ancro Plays Dishonored. So, mistakes will be made. Oh, he can throw debris at me. What is he shooting me with? All right. Fire. There we go. I probably could have saved some ammo by not shooting him needlessly. But it will be fine. Oh, are you serious? These guys keep finding me. Oh, I... I'm carrying his head in a very relaxed manner. I'm very relaxed about this whole situation. Let me just take a screenshot of this. Get somewhere with plenty of light. I will... oops. Just take capture of this to save it for a future date. Throw his head away, because I don't want it. So I'm playing very poorly this evening, and that is not... That is not fantastic because this is a high combat area. Should be using arc mines. I'd forgotten about those. Let's see. Ah, yes, the pistol. How could I forget the pistol? Okay, let's add this to six. All right. You can drink some water. Which doesn't actually help me in any way. Nothing in here. Let's just make sure. Yep. An empty locker. Bone charm in that direction. This is a makeshift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. Apparently, it's given me the option to kill her. I should try that next time. Alright, so we need to find Rothwild and bring him to the execution or interrogation chair. I think I understand how it works. I understand the mechanism of action. Cannot carry any more arc mines. I should probably start using them, eh? 
Alright. Enemies here. We got a dead one here. I wanted to try that at some point. Though, I probably should have waited for when he was near someone else that would blow him up at the same time. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Those guys do a lot of damage. I'm going to die here. Because I'm stuck. Absolutely got boxed in. Which is my own fault. No one's fault but my own. Just reload. Don't know why it takes so long to load this game. It's on a solid state drive. Now, let's try to do this better this time. Let's be more effective and more efficient. I don't necessarily want to go entirely stealth because I'm going with a lethal playthrough of the Knife of Dunwall. Seems appropriate for the character. Sokolov stuff. You didn't touch it, did you? It's got to be another way in. Natural philosopher. Yeah, he ain't here now. I found some nights to study the whale. Where the oil comes from. What if you have to go take it everything apart? Are you joking? Let's see if this will work. Never actually tried this in Dishonored 1. I've been spotted. Oh god. Here we go again. Come on, get up. I had to run. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm using a lot of potions here. Okay, what if I do this? I'm dead. I'm having a hard time determining how to kill these guys in melee combat. Tried to hop up on top of them and he was able to block the attack and own my face. They're armored in front, but not so tough in back. She can be killed, though that will end your game. Irreconcilable hostilities are, are in uh, effect when you kill her unnecessarily. You may not kill her. She may only speak and annoy the shit out of you. They're armored in front, but not so tough in back. Yes, that is the 
that is the case. I've been seen somehow, so... Well, maybe they didn't see me. They're just suspicious. I um, want to kill this guy. Oh, I can kill this guy. Come on. Come out into the open for me. Oh no. Why didn't that work? Ridiculous amounts of damage. I don't know what it is that they are using to create. I don't know what it's the, what they use to create that effect where they just grind and grind and it creates projectiles that uh, are capable of doing damage to a man. It's just. So not relaxed, so not chill. Let's see. I am back where I started. Oh, some bolts. I could certainly use the bolts. That would have been an opportunity, but I missed it. Maybe he'll come back and... Oh, shit. Yes, they're armored in front, but not so much in back. Ooh. Okay, I... I'm trying my best. That doesn't really work. Oh, I'm, tr I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm eating it all right. I'm literally stuck. All right. Clearly, this is the wrong time for me to be attempting to play the Knife of Dunwall on hard. Usually, the late night's the best time of night, but when you're very, very tired and you really ought to be, have been asleep couple of hours previous, you may not necessarily be able to play the Knife of Dunwall with the effectiveness you need to be able to succeed. So I will uh, go bugger off myself and go to bed, and I uh, am apologizing very profusely at the moment for this lack of skillful gameplay, but this is a special edition of I Crow plays the knife of Dunwall in stereoscopic 3D. I hope you'll join me um, during the daytime hours, and hopefully progress can be made. Thank you for watching.